Greetings to all movie lovers, and welcome to another episode of TMM Then and Now. Today we're journeying back nearly six decades to 1965 to revisit one of the most loved musicals of all time, The Sound of Music. With its unforgettable melodies and heartwarming tale, this film won over millions. But where are those familiar faces now? What paths did they tread in these 58 years? As we turn into the notes of this musical, we'll see how the lives of our beloved cast have played out. So sit back, relax, and join us on this nostalgic voyage. Our voyage begins with the incomparable Julie Andrews, who breathed life into the spirited Maria. Born in Surrey, England, Andrews was already a Tony Award-nominated actress by 1965, recognized for her remarkable roles in Broadway shows like My Fair Lady and Camelot. In The Sound of Music, she played Maria with warmth and vivacity, creating an iconic character that remains timeless. Zooming forward to 2023, 58 years later, Andrews' star shines brighter than ever. She has become a beloved figure in the world of film, theater, and television. From lending her voice to Queen Lillian in the Shrek series to her performance in Bridgerton, Andrews continues to dazzle audiences. Off camera, she's a children's book author showcasing her multifaceted talent. Despite personal heartbreaks, including the loss of her husband, she remains resilient, proving she's as much a hero off-screen as she is on. Our journey continues with Christopher Plummer, who portrayed the stern yet kind-hearted Captain Von Trapp. Born in Toronto, Canada, Plummer was already a seasoned actor by 1965, acclaimed for his performances on stage and screen. His portrayal of Captain Von Trapp showcased his ability to balance gravitas with tenderness, leaving a lasting impression. Sadly, Plummer passed away in 2021, yet his illustrious career spanning seven decades left a profound legacy. With memorable roles like Hal and Beginners, for which he won an Academy Award, Plummer's contribution to the film industry is undeniable. Off screen, he was married three times and leaves behind his daughter, actress Amanda Plummer. His life and career underscore the enduring power of talent. Reminding us that true stars continue to shine even when they're no longer with us. Next, we remember Chairman Carr, who played the eldest Von Trapp child, Liesl. Born in Chicago, Illinois, Carr was a newcomer to the acting world in 1965. Her portrayal of Liesl captured the complexities of transitioning from childhood to adulthood, resonating with audiences worldwide. Carr passed away in 2016, but not before she made an impact on and off the screen. After The Sound of Music, she left acting and started a successful interior design business, demonstrating that the transition from one career to another can be as graceful as it is daring. Carr was married once and had two daughters. Her life is a testament to the many roles women can play, both on screen and off. We cannot forget Eleanor Parker, who played the elegant Baroness, born in Ohio. Parker was a three-time Academy Award nominee by the time she appeared in The Sound of Music. Her portrayal of the Baroness was marked by sophistication and poise. Parker passed away in 2013, leaving behind a rich film legacy. From her star-making role in Cage to her personal performance in Dead on the Money, Parker's versatility and talent remain admired. She was married four times and had four children. Her life and career serve as reminders of the transformative power of acting. I enjoy every moment we've had together. Showcasing the breadth of human emotion and experience. Now let's shed light on Nicholas Hammond, who portrayed Friedrich, the eldest Von Trapp son. Born in Washington, D.C., Hammond was just a teenager when he stepped into Friedrich's shoes. His portrayal of the mature and responsible brother resonated with many, further amplified by his youthful charm. Moving ahead to 2023, 58 years later, Hammond continues to contribute to the world of acting. He's had an incredibly diverse career, from playing Spider-Man in the 70s TV series to roles in more recent works like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. My job as an actor, my job is to honor that character and just do the best job I possibly can of 
creating a live actor. His successful transition from child actor to adult performer serves as an inspiring tale for many young talents in the industry. On the personal front, Hammond, who has dual US-Australian citizenship, has settled into Australia and continues to lead a fulfilling life. As our journey alongside the extraordinary cast of The Sound of Music concludes, we're left with the vivid tableau of their lives, each artist having etched an unforgettable mark on cinema's expansive canvas. Through laughter, sorrow, and triumph, we've traced their footsteps and witnessed the enduring legacy they've instilled in generations to follow. A legacy as timeless as the sound of music itself. Even though the harmonies of this treasured musical may have ebbed away, the echoes remain, bearing testament to the magic of movies in immortalizing moments of splendor. Here at TMM Then and Now, our endeavor remains to guide you through more such captivating journeys, reacquainting you with your beloved stars and timeless classics that hold a special place in our hearts.